Today's an exciting day for us. It's the day that we're releasing our roster to the public and talking about our esports initiative here at the U. A lot of people ask why esports at a university? Uh, and the answer is actually quite simple. The University of Utah does not back away or back down from interesting things that are happening in the world that have a real impact on people. To really make it something that people want to look at, people want to be a part of, is what I'm here for. I want to set a precedent. We're here to win. We're not here to mess around. We're not here to just play games. We're here to make sure that we make the U proud. You have to understand that wherever esports has grown on college campuses, wherever it's grown, it always starts invariably from a grassroots student movement. So at the University of Utah, we have a group of students uh, that have made a club here called Crimson Gaming. And they're the best group of students you'll ever find in the country at what they do. I think that the U is a great place for the EAE program and those interested in games because we live in such an interesting culture of nerds. Not only do they love games, they love the future of games, and they love finding new ways to innovate the world of games. I applied to the U specifically because the U has a computer science program with the emphasis on entertainment arts, the EAE program that we have here. And I read a lot about how it's the number one program in the world. Consider EAE to be a studio simulation. So whether you're an undergrad or a grad student, for your last year of school here, you're going to be pitching games to executives. Some of those games are going to be greenlit for production. And then for their last year of school, you're going to be making those games. And you own those games. You actually own the intellectual property for anything and everything that you create here. Definitely way more than so as an EAE student, um, I love making games and I love playing them as well. You definitely have to have that passion if you want to be making the games because it's a lot of hard work. I'm just so happy to be here at the U during this pioneering period for playing games and making games. Um, being legitimized through the university is just the greatest feeling in the world, both for the fact that I get to make my games and that I can play them and represent the university. Huge performance from Utah in ending that series so confidently. Hey, if you got the skills, you can go for the thrills. Uh, we're the first Power 5 team in the doing eSports program, and so it's really fun to be a part of it. I think there's a level of respect for anyone who's doing something that they love, or the university that they love, or the team that they love. There's so many people nowadays who play video games, they watch Twitch streams, and they watch eSports competitions of people playing those video games. I think it's possible in the future it could be bigger than Utah football. To realize this is a fully international phenomenon and movement, I think it's incredible to be on top of that and to be leaders and trailblazing those efforts. This exists in the cord cutting generation. You have audiences in the case of the League of Legends World Championships that exceeds the audience of the NBA Finals. It's the biggest audience that no one knows really exists. We're getting kids that never identify with their school via mainstream sports to identify with their school in ways they didn't before. This is the future of where the sports audience is going. 